The idea is to create images that tell a story like, like, like you would with stock imagery, in the quality that you would create in stock imagery, but not fake, real. I've heard you use the term custom stock imagery. What is that? I mean, we heard, we heard of stock <laughs> photography, but like, I mean, you're, you're in the custom space. What is that all about? Custom stock is something that I dreamed up, and to me, it's rocking the world. We're so used to creating either images or having stock imagery. That's your question as a business. What am mm-hmm. I, where, how are we going to represent ourselves? Mm-hmm. Are we representing ourselves custom or are we rep- representing ourselves stock? Mm-hmm. Right? What I want to do is custom stock, meaning images that are just as powerful as stock imagery, but custom, your story, your brand, totally branded, right? And that's the idea. The idea is to create images that tell a story like, like, like you would with stock imagery in the quality that you would create in stock imagery, but not fake, real. A few years ago, we had on the show David Meerman Scott. He is one of the marketing gurus out there. David Meerman Scott, he's a, a very big name. And I saw him present at a conference, and he was talking about stock plain stock photography inside brochures. And he showed on the screen how the same secretary with her headset was in like 17 separate companies. Yes. He said, does she work for this attorney <laughs> firm? But wait, she must she, be incredible. She lives in Minnesota. <laughs> that was for a small boutique attorney firm in Minnesota. But she works as, wait a second, but then she works at a CPA firm or she works for a travel agency. Right. How does that make sense? <laughs> That's what, that goes a rock star. up on screen. That's, that girl's a rock star, and it's not. <laughs> but the problem is, it's not true. And you know why? One of the things that I love about custom stock is that, let's say, for example, last week we photographed a scaffolding company, right? Mm. So we we're up ten stories on the scaffold, photographing their process. Who? I'm gonna what? let you finish. Then I gotta ask you about your your nerves. Okay, <laughs> we'll get there in a second. Yeah. Okay. So we're on, <laughs> right? But here you have these big, bold, beautiful images, hero images that are on the top of websites that are making people shudder, right? Mm-hmm. But the question is, how do you get that brand in? So you know what the answer is? Redundancy. Redundancy, what you do is you create images of that brand, mm-hmm. very close, up close and personable, establishing the brand. And then as you widen your image, the redundancy factor brings recognition. Mm-hmm. So therefore, when you have that secretary who could be stuck, but when you take that second, same secretary and put her in the business meeting with the CEO, she's not stock anymore. She's real. Right. right? Right? It's the redundancy of both the brand and the humans that showcase this is really real. This is not a joke. I didn't just, even on stock imagery today, you can get the same person over and over again, but you cannot get them with the same, you, right? You can't right, get them course. with you. Of course not. You can't get them with you. And that's, that, and that's the dream. The dream is to be able to own your brand, believe in your brand, and build with your brand over time. Now, Label, your firm does headshots as well as uh, photo storytelling and video storytelling. Sure. Okay. You described uh, you know, doing work for a scaffolding company. <laughs> Can I ask how many flights up was that? You know, was <laughs> we were about 10 flights up. And yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I'm just going to ask the question, are you scared of heights? I am. You are? Yeah. So how in the world did you do that job? You know the answer? And tell me a crazy thing that I told that, that I don't know how many. Th- I'll tell you something crazy. Ready? I'm a big believer that when you're focused, you could do anything because you're not thinking about anything other than what you're doing. So, therefore, Zev Hagler, my assistant, has a rule anything for the shot. That's the rule. Anything for the shot. So, what does that mean? Hmm. Anything for the shot means like this that you're so focused on what's going on. There was people building scaffolds from nothing on True. the 10th floor. Now, there's only one way to tell that story. That's on the scaffold. Yeah. So but therefore, but there's something called nerves. Right. So therefore, <laughs> there's only one way to get there. Right? So when you're so focused on what it is that the task's at hand, you forget about it's like a person lesson, right? Yeah. You forget about everything. And that's really a, a lesson on anything <sighs> focused, right? Anything you want to focus, if you give yourself a thousand billion percent, nothing else exists. One of the weird thing, when I got home that night and I was laying in bed. I started to get queasy and my feet started I was gonna to shake. Say, my I feet say, started to shake when I started point did to it think kick in? when I got home. <laughs> when I thought when I thought back you. when I thought back to it, that's when it hit me. And but you know what? There's images today that tell that brand that would not be possible without that's amazing. it. Amazing. But when you watch that video, tell me, are you uh, like a <laughs> uh, little like am I crazy? How in the world did I do that and I let Zev do that? 
but you got it, the shot. I mean, of course, there's a great feeling of swagger that, like, whoa, we got that shot. It really does. But you're more, you know, what's more valuable than that? When you see that your client is telling their story yeah. and the client's making Special. money, right? When the, when you see that they have their brands hitting, then you realize that there's no one else can do it. Then you you could not do it. We have a couple minutes left. I still want to talk about the training you got from Peter Hurley. Also, I'd love to talk about LinkedIn. Let's first get that in. You mentioned 30% of your new leads are coming in through LinkedIn. How powerful of a platform? And was it always that way? Is no. it just the last few months? No. Basic, I have a philosophy that you give, 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 and it'll come back. So therefore, when I wanted to showcase in our community there was such a thing as a powerful headshot, mm -hmm. I gave 300 free headshots over a two-month period. Unreal. At LinkedIn. Unreal, because at, now it, it goes for a real premium and it's worth it, but yeah. So the point, point being that no one realized there was such a thing as, in our community, as a powerful right. the sales real thing. tool called a headshot. headshot. So what we did was we connected with LinkedIn locals, mm -hmm. which is thousands of people that get together mm -hmm. for LinkedIn. We, and they said to me, Label, let's, you know, right now a headshot Right, right now, headshot is at a premium. They said, "Label, let's give you a, a small amount per headshot, and and you'll come and do everyone's headshot." I said, "I'd rather not take anything and be able to gift a mm. crazy value wow. than to take a small amount and make the value go down." So I gifted over 300 gifted headshots, educated the world something was powerful, and then what do you have now? 300 advocates right. walking billboards. That are that are well, singing is. praises, and that's, that's right. where everything came in. That's right. Now we're getting. I can't even tell you. I thank thank God. Very thankful. Um, it exploded, but it started with giving, and every one Special. of our process starts with giving, and then from there, if people see value. Once they see value, they start coming, and once they start coming, you can give more value. Let's talk about your training by Peter Hurley. Who is he, and what was the process like? To th that he imparted into to you. Sure. So Peter Hurley is considered the world's best headshot photographer. He is sponsored also by Profoto for his headshots, and we're sponsored by Profoto for our weddings and relationships. So we met in Vegas at a. My wife actually met him at a VIP event, mm -hmm. and we picked up his book because you know he's 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 a personality in the photography world. I wanted to know about eyes, confidence, mouth. I heard it all around, but I never really sunk my teeth in. I said, "Hannah, do me a favor, pick up the book." She got the book. When I got it. I digested it. To read is not, reading is not a word. I, di I consumed it, digested it, and internalized it into my very being. I read everything, not for headshots. I just wanted to know how to better pose my wedding couples. Right. Then I enjoyed it so much. I said, you know, what the heck? Let me try a headshot. Tried one, I tried two. I rented out his studio for, a year, for two years every single Wednesday, and it was expensive, giving free headshots to a lot of people, mastering my craft, mastering my craft every Wednesday. I would give headshots to anybody, anybody they could, so I could master my craft until I felt I was confident. And at that point, I hit the world. You know what I love about that story? So many people today, and in fact, a few weeks ago, we had Chuck Garcia, and he talked about how millennials kind of want to become the CEO by the time they're 22, and it doesn't work that way. You have to really sweat at it, practice it, practice it. You said you rented his studio every, two years? For, for two, every Wednesday for two years. And kept on practicing and yeah. practicing and practicing. At a huge expense. At a huge expense. But I realized it was something that I naturally connected to. And thank God today, it's taken, it's about 50% of my business. Now, Label, you're always giving back and you shared so much on tonight's <laughs> show. And the last question is going to be also about giving back. We're going to tap into your brain. But before we get to the last question, how can people find out more about Label Schwartz Photography? Hit us on social, Label Schwartz on Instagram, Label Schwartz. And how is Label spelled? L-A-I-B-E-L-S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z. It's like the whiskey, I would say. Black Label. Schwartz <laughs> means black, right? <laughs> L-A-I-B-E-L-S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z on LinkedIn. Very big Instagram um, and of course, the website. Website is headshots.labelschwartz.com. L A I B E L S C H W A R T Z. In roughly the last minute that we have on here on Are the you show. Are you serious? Yeah, the time flies. <laughs> the time just flies. Label, what takeaway could you share with the listeners of Mind Your Business? A if final I, thought. If I really had to synthesize it, it's about being real. It's about it's about introspecting. Someone asked me recently in an interview, how do you tell a story through images? Right. Right. That's a great question. How do, and, and answer that. I told them you don't. You don't. First, 
you create your story. You find out who and what you are in a real way. Who is your business? What are they doing? Create the story. And the images come naturally. Mm -hmm. When you have a context and a story to believe in, then the images and the story comes naturally. I love the honor of interviewing C-level executives and sharing their great advice and perspective on Mind Your Business. I'd love to get your feedback. Post it in the comments below and subscribe. You'll never miss an edition of Mind Your Business. Mind Your Business.